you know, not to make the video ultra long, uh, but to, to, to answer the question, you know, did we kiss before we got married? We... Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Mario. Remember, we are real apostolics with real problems and real solutions all solved in a divine way. We are back in the bedroom with my wife and now we got a really cool little background so we're trying some new things here comment down below let us know what you think about if you like the new setup or we, we really like just what the, the camera looks on this angle and our symmetrical room here ish and uh, I don't know, we're trying something new here uh, as you all saw in the title we're gonna answer the question did we kiss before we got married now what inspired us to do this video is not that we haven't talked about it before but we just saw a really 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 awesome and anointed um, hour and a half like uh, podcast through a very popular Spanish YouTube channel Restaurando Familias and it, the question that they brought up during that time is is kissing and cuddling accepted for boyfriend and girlfriends and we started I don't know just something really impacted me in that moment and I said babe do you want to kind of talk about like what we did through through um, through our courting experience uh, the two years that we knew each other before we got married and before we kind of get into those details let me just break down something to you all watching doesn't matter what what age you are really um, the Bible really applies to all ages doesn't matter if you're a teen going through strong hormone levels or you're a 20 30 year old 30 40 40 year old well into your adulthood uh, the Bible applies the same and that's a good thing for you and I you know our relationship wasn't perfect we, we had our we had our downfalls but we did do a lot of good things good and I was very happy about that and there are some things we wish we'd have done better and so before we answer the question I kind of want to just take some time and just kind of lay the framework of, of, of kind of how we started and what was some of the first things we did in the beginning of our relationship that really really helped us to make it uh, two years of, of being boyfriend girlfriend courting being engaged and then ultimately getting married in March of 2019 right I always get the year I feel like I get the year March wrong. 23rd 2019 I know the day I'm just thinking the year I don't know why I feel like we've been married longer than we have but mm. we haven't but anyways that's neither here nor there so when we first met um, we first met at NAYC um, and it, it was super awesome to finally meet there. So after after like FaceTiming for a few weeks and, and just texting and things like that, after we met initially on Instagram, we uh, we knew we wanted to see each other and she convinced me to, to go out to the conference because really it wasn't my intentions to go, but she was really bummed out. And I went and uh, ultimately to have an encounter with God first, but then, you know, to meet her because I saw a lot of potential in her as she did in me. And I don't know why in me, but um, <laughs> it, it, was, uh, it was what we wanted to do. We talked about how we would like to do our relationship. And so one of the things that was always suggested uh, to me by my pastor and her pastor is never be alone. And that was one of the things we did really well for a very, very long time, um, especially in the beginning. I mean, that first year, year and a half, I mean, her poor sister, she dragged her literally everywhere. Um, and my flesh did not want that. My flesh wanted what I, what I believed at that time to be my future wife, to go out on our own. And I had the mentality that, look, I'm, I'm 27, 28. She's an adult, 21, 22. You know, we can do this thing. But that was not the case. We really couldn't do it. And we needed that chaperone. So that was one of the first things we did really well is we always had a chaperone with us. And that happened to be your sister. And it doesn't have to be family. Just someone needs to be with you all. So you're not alone and invite the temptation to come. You don't want to put yourself in that 
situation or someone sees you out and, and it gets back to, to your to your uh, leaders and authority figures and they have to question you on it, it's rather, it's, it's better just to be with someone, be in a group. So that was one of the first things we said. The second thing is we didn't want to kiss before uh, marriage. We, we were dead set on that and and we wanted to follow that path but one of the first mistakes we probably made and i got called out pretty early for it was uh actually my first impression to her pastor's pastor is uh you know me being all giddly and touching everything like literally day two of of NAYC, I was already holding her hand and we were walking and we went to bowling with, with her youth group and stuff. And I was just like, I was trying to be the man or whatever. And we were outside during uh, during one of the breaks or right before one of the morning services. And I all I had, right, after, after holding hand all afternoon and stuff, and no one really saying anything. And I should have got called out way earlier before that. But all I did was I had my hand around her side and we were taking a picture together. Well, all of a sudden her pastor's pastor comes up to me and he says, hey, I need to talk to you, bud. So I go over there and I, I'm thinking he's just gonna introduce himself. I didn't think anything of it. And the words that came out of this man's mouth was, Boy, if you touch Anna one more time, we're gonna have some serious issues here. <laughs> she just said, oh, canela just went I was like completely thrown off. I was like, whoa, okay, now we're in the big boy leagues. All right, so this is how this is supposed to really go. And yeah, that got back and that was like the worst first impression to ever have on a pastor's pastor. Uh, because they got back to her pastor and then we got back to my pastor and it was like, oh my gosh, like, ugh. What did you think of that impression when that when I told you about that that conversation? I don't know. I was speechless about it. I think I was more afraid of my pastor talk to me about it. And I'm like, oh, so that's gonna get back to my pastor when I come back. Needless to say, uh, I learned that lesson very quick, and I'm glad it happened. I mean, it needed it. Rather, it happened earlier than later, honestly. So. But uh, yeah, we didn't do that for, for a very, very long time. Um, and as you all know, and I've, I know we've mentioned in other videos, we were friends for six months before we finally made it exclusive to, hey, the, I'm very interested in you, you're very interested in me, I see you as my wife one day, you, you see me as your husband one day, and, and now we're really gonna start moving and taking those, those right steps in that direction. So, you know, not to make the video ultra long, uh, but to, to, to answer the question, you know, did we kiss before we got married? We, uh, I, wish I, could t I wish I could tell you all and say that, that we, we didn't. But it was right after we got engaged, it was like three months before we were about to get married. And we started breaking some of those rules. We started breaking some of those limits that we had placed on each other. We found ourselves alone without a chaperone we we, uh, we, st we started just like thinking too far in advance like we, we hadn't quite made it to that day of marriage yet and we just started to like let the, let, let the barriers down almost like we know we're gonna get married now you know let's just I don't know what it was I really don't know I mean it was just I guess the flesh being the flesh yeah we kissed twice we did kiss twice and yeah, I mean, there's nothing really more to it. Uh, it sucks to say that here, but one, so one thing I've noticed is now that we're married, I, I can kind of look in retrospect uh, of a couple of things. And it's just crazy, like couples that are married now and very strong in the faith who had kids before wish they would have got, gotten married before they had kids. Or those who are married now who fell into fornication or had sex before marriage wish they had not had sex until they got married or in our case we wish we hadn't kissed until we got married and then there's like the step before that we wish we didn't touch until we got married and it's like you keep going backwards and backwards saying I wish I hadn't done this until I got married and it really just opens up to your eyes that God really has a special place for marriage and he has special things for marriage and when you cross that line it really kind of breaks the chains and and 
while we're happily married now and we're praise God we didn't fall into fornication or anything like that we didn't fall we didn't go farther than those kisses um, we look back and we just wish that we could give you all the testimony saying that you no know, we did not kiss um, we, we we saved that for that special day but uh, you know all good things happen and maybe this happened so we could warn one of you all uh, watching this video now to to don't take that step I mean the less you do during your um, courting period the more rewarding it is when you become married whether because after marriage you don't have any guilt and shame afterwards you have you don't have a bad testimony to tell you just have you know a good testimony and then people really admire that because that's a true testament of you being self-control of what your flesh really wants so um, I think we need to make a couple more videos like this just sharing our experiences because I know some young person out there can really benefit um, and really learn some things and, and and maybe you're that person right now who maybe you and your maybe your boyfriend and girlfriend just kissed and, and now you realize oh I wish we'd have done that or, or you went farther and I hope that's not the case there the good news is we have a very forgiving God we have pastors in our lives that that warn us and protect us and the more you you fall in line with what the word has to say about being pure when you are young the better testimony you will have um, and the better story you'll be able to tell it's, just, it's so beautiful when you when you're able when you're able to say that I mean we can happily say that we we left um, the things you do in the bedroom right at, for things after marriage and and it's rewarding to say that it's it's rewarding in our marriage and now we can enjoy the fruits of it so uh, we hope you all enjoyed this you know comment down below um, what you all thought about this you know give us a little I don't know don't thumbs down this video because we probably we probably let down some people out there but I mean it's the truth right we don't want to lie about it we don't want to say we are perfect and honestly no marriage is perfect no boyfriend girlfriend courting is perfect you can progress and strive to perfection you know just to please God ultimately um, in the long run I don't know let's let's leave him let's leave him with a question I mean what do you all want to hear I guess here's the question if you could ask us one question about our marriage what's one thing you would want to know marriage or dating or, or dating recording or friends whatever whatever you want to know we want to be as transparent as possible we think it's gonna be a really great series during the Christmas time where we're really trying to pump out content we're really trying to get to 1,000 subscribers so like this video subscribe to this channel and we will see you all in the next video